Hey everyone, welcome back to this episode where we return to which mountain? Oh wait, wrong mountain. <laughs> still California, but wrong still mountain. Still California, still the W word, but not. No, we went to Wolf Mountain Sanctuary. Sanctuary. And so we're talking in this episode about working with wild animals or mostly, I guess, undomesticated animals, probably even, even domesticated animals. They're, they're slightly domesticated. Yeah. In. So Wolf, Wolf Mountain Sanctuary is a place where wolves and wolf hybrids go when celebrities and rich people and regular people adopt an animal that they probably shouldn't. And those wolves then are um, unable to be returned to the wild. Mm -hmm. And so they live the rest of their lives in, in the wolf sanctuary or wolf sanctuary like it. And there's, there's quite a few wolf sanctuaries around the country. So definitely um, if you're not near Southern California where Wolf Mountain Sanctuary is, you can, you can, find another wolf sanctuary probably probably somewhere near you if, if wolves are native to the area. So in this episode, we're just going to be talking about some of the, the photos we took. And if you go to the YouTube video, you'll be able to see the photos. I'll throw them up there so you can see what we're looking at. But we're going to describe them verbally. So if even if you're on a podcast, you will uh, hopefully benefit from, from what we're seeing and what we're describing. But uh, in addition to looking at the photos, we're going to be talking about some of the troubles we had and how we dealt with them. Because uh, every different situation creates new and interesting and different problems. And uh, like everything in photography, the key is to be patient and try to be as prepared as you can so that when you encounter the situation next time or the first time, you are uh, ready to take some some amazing photos or video. In our case, we did both. <laughs> I actually got to play with a camera. She did. Mm -hmm. So my uh, my photo, my profile picture on Facebook is now a, a photo she took of me. So, which is super cool because we visualized the art. You said this is the kind of image you wanted to take of me. Yeah. And uh, we looked around the yard that we were in. We found the, the right place. We, we dialed in the settings together and we, uh, you know, I stood there and you took the photo. <laughs> we made the magic happen. Yeah, it's great. It's good, a great, uh, great photo. Yep. So um, our, our initial plan was that we wanted to go there, spend an hour and then come back. But that didn't quite work because, you know, when you're working with animals, you can't be like, hey, listen, this is the plan. We'd like to get these shots and then we'd like to go. <laughs> <laughs> and, well, you know, they they all have personalities of their own. So we had to deal with that. So the the, the big thing there, right, is that we were driving three hours and it's a cosplay photo shoot. I mean, it's got the wolves, but uh, ultimately Leiden wanted to um, put on his Wolverine and then he wanted to change it to a different Wolverine version. And there's a lot of makeup that, you know, the mutton chops and the, the wig and looking hardened, I guess, like a battle version of Wolverine does. And... Um, basically I feel like you have to kind of time box yourself on these things. And I know I said, be patient, but if you don't time box yourself, like we, we talked about in a, in a previous episode, then what happens is things sprawl out of control and you don't get what you want. So if you are, if you're trying, if you're basically working within a, a time box, then it pushes you to go just, just a little bit faster so that you make sure you get what you want. And then after you've gotten what you want, if you happen to stay later 
it's all bonus and it feels like bonus. It just feels like, oh, hey, I'm so, I'm so glad we got this, these extra shots. But everybody's like aware. These are like extra shots. We're over time. Uh, we still got, we got back. Um, I would say that while I wanted to be back at five so we could have dinner in Vegas, I... We didn't get back till seven. We didn't get back till seven, which was literally like one person was waiting for us outside of the studio and one person showed up like five minutes later. So it was kind of perfect. It, mm -hmm. it was, it was about, uh, it was about as late as we could be without making people like wait for us too long. Mm -hmm. So we went and here's a, here's a good photo of the makeup artist, uh, our girlfriend Snappy mm -hmm. and you and uh, which wolf is this? Is this a gentleman? No, it's the other one. I don't remember his name. Uh, it starts with a K. It was an Indian name, and I'm not really great with native names. Yeah, so, yeah. So... Kasu? Ka uh, yeah, I don't know. But um, this was a big wolf. And, and this book was... This wolf was not timid. Gentle gentleman was bigger. Yeah, gentleman. But gentleman he, also looked like a. He was a husky mix. Yeah, so he and I felt like gentleman looked more huskyish, which is, <laughs> I mean, whatever. It's he cool. He had he had husky energy. He was like a puppy. Yeah, he and he was like a puppy. He was young. Whereas um, this dog, wolf, wolf. Um, this wolf was much more like a wolf, dominant, did not care. Mm -mm. Whereas um, a black wolf, she, she was timid and um, well, she was she had some trauma. Yeah, so she was very wary around people. She doesn't like tall guys. She she just she's very wary. Yeah, I don't think she liked the yellow the mm -hmm. the yellow Wolverine outfit either. So, um, I mean, are are wolves colorblind? Are dogs colorblind? They. Okay, so they are colorblind, but colorblind doesn't mean seeing in black and white. Yeah. It, um, like monochromatic necessarily. They, they're still seeing like saturation and mm -hmm. other things. So he's wearing, you know, wearing very bright clothes compared to everybody else. And uh, I don't know what, what that looked like um, to her, but she didn't, she just didn't seem to like it too much. I mean. In the wild, normally bright means dangerous, poisonous. I don't know. That's our wolverine. He's a uh, venomous. <laughs> He's a venomous honey badger. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Totally. So um, I'm bringing up this shot. Basically, this is this is kind of what we're calling the hero shot. So it's Wolverine. He's got the claw up. He's looking between the the claw blades, which is a great use of framing. You always want to try to do that if you can, where you um, create an artificial frame. Shink. Yeah. Um, and the large gray wolf, um, that uh, we just talked about, you know, he's there, he's looking at the camera. Now this shot, it kind of took, it took about an hour, I think of, of walking around walking. and calming him down. Yeah. 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 It took um, a minute. And uh, we were there, I think, about three hours. I feel like it was three hours. Yeah, so about two hours more than what we'd originally planned. Mm -hmm. So originally we planned on getting there at 11, and we planned on him uh, preparing to put the makeup on before we even got there. Like, it was like, okay, Leiden, so you should start preparing your makeup and your wig like around 10 a.m., on the drive there so that when we get there at 11, then Snappy can just finish off his makeup. And I don't think that happened. No, that never happens. No. But um, at least our appointment wasn't until noon. Yeah. And they weren't even ready until like 1220. Well, they were like... Um, it was Do previous, you want to come in earlier? And we we're like, no, we we still need to get ready. Yeah, maybe like fifteen. And minutes then early. there was other people who had also mm -hmm. donated to have yeah. time with the wolves. So, um, and that's kind of how this stuff works. You definitely want to reach out ahead of time, and you want to say, hey, is it okay if I bring um, a camera? 
Now, I brought a flash just in case, but I didn't bring it out. I, I didn't think it would be wise to scare the wolves with flash photography. And so I didn't even, I didn't even ask, I didn't even bring it out. You do, you do you, you uh, never bring out as a surprise, but if you really want, you could ask. And if they say, oh yeah, this, this animal doesn't care. Mm -hmm. You do whatever you want. Right. And that's what she said about some of the wolves. And mm -hmm. then some of the wolves uh, did care. So, um, for us, I just no flash. So any of the photos you might see, there's no flash. I was a little unhappy that, you know, we got there at noon and so we we're taking photos between 12 and 2. So I've talked about it before where I don't really like to shoot in midday, especially without cloud cover and without um, like foliage or something. But, you know, I think the photos turned out. I think people are happy with the photos. So it's, it's fine. But again, when the photos are fine with bright, stark light, they would be better if... <laughs> if it was better lighting. So, I mean, I don't want to have to compensate for it in, in editing, but whatever. It all turned out, um, you always want to reach out. You want to ask, you want to get permission. You want to see how much it'll cost. Do, do, do not ever shy away from the cost and don't feel bad about negotiating, but talk about money. If you aren't willing to talk about money, assume you'll pay the maximum amount. And in this case, the maximum donation as printed on a sign was $300 for a photo session and $3,000 for a media production, media production, movie production, something yeah. like that. I guess music video, whatever. So That'd be interesting. Yeah. I think that would, that would be super cool. Um, we got the permission. We showed up, they, they were expecting us and that's very important. It's an entirely different feel when they know what's going to happen. They know mm -hmm. why you're there. They were cordial. They were super polite. And it was a great experience. Oh, yeah. They were great people. Now, we're, we've brought up a, an image of uh, this very large wolf licking Leiden's face. And when I, we say licking, like, I mean, like, his full tongue action, like across the face. So I actually zoomed in on some of the photos mm -hmm. and I saw very large drops of saliva. Yum. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> wow, he really, really got Leiden. And um, he said that the wolf really likes product. Um, product. The, the wolf loves to lick product off of people. Um, he also likes to sniff your armpit because that is one of our main scent glands. So hair, armpit, feet, whatever, you know, the things. So um, in the next photo that we're bringing up, I uh, got a photo of him as he was basically almost putting his, like Leiden's face in his mouth. His teeth are bang, uh, bared. It looks like he's about to eat Leiden. And I guess we were going to let it happen because the important thing is always get the shot. That's that's what you want to make sure is uh, always, get the, always shot. get the shot. That's, that's the mean, important thing. I mean, if she wasn't concerned, we weren't concerned. So the thing about wolves, and I, I would say this is true to any animal you work with, you're going to want to know their psychology. And if you don't know their psychology, ask. Because there's a person there whose job it is to um, control the animals. And keep you safe. And keep you safe. So um, wolves and dogs, actually, if they lick the inside of your mouth, then it is a submissive posture. So they're going to try to lick the inside of your mouth because, um, well, probably I think because you're the source of treats. I think they know <laughs> that when, in this case, that when people show up, that the caretaker handler is going to give them a chicken leg 
and we've got some great photos. I, I don't, I'm not bringing any up right now, but there's definitely some uh, great photos that we'll share in our, um, in our Patreon that show this, this wolf eating this giant, giant chicken foot. Mm-hmm. Made turkey foot. I, I swear, it's a big no, chicken foot. Uh, the recording was just a chicken leg, but previously she gave gentlemen um, chicken feet. Yeah. Well, I have photos of that. That's what yeah, I'm talking about. The photos yeah. of that are really cool. Yeah. So those are, they'll, they'll be up. But um, so I think that the wolves are like, yay, strangers. That means we get treats. Like snacks. Yeah. Snack time. Um, but when I think when the wolf bears its teeth like it did and it's not trying to lick the inside of his mouth he's like oh um i'm gonna lick all your face i'm gonna lick your hair uh i'm and you know he was like oh he's gonna like really like dive into his armpits um <laughs> that and was he's fun. and he's gonna bear his teeth around Lydon's face i really feel like that was the al- was that the alpha or was the alpha in the far back sleeping i thought the alpha was the the girl that was skittish. Oh, maybe. 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 And, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't exactly know. He was very dominant and I just don't think that he was going to, um, let Leiden be tough because he's Wolverine <laughs> and, and uh, you know, the wolves don't care about him being Wolverine, but the wolves do care about him trying to hold a posture of strength. And so I just think he was kind of like, Hey, um, you know, I don't know. What I, you're I'm doing. the boss here. This is my area. <laughs> and they said, like, the important thing is, like, uh, you know, we never went into the wolves' actual dens because mm-hmm. uh, that would be territorial. Yeah, and and uh, one of the other caretakers was like, yeah, even she can't go into their dens. Like, he's safe in the middle, in the common area. Yeah, I guess. because he he that's not his area. Mm-hmm. But. Um, but he, she was like, yeah, it would be a problem if, if she tried to go into his den because that's his. Yeah. So here is um, Buffalo Woman. Uh, her English name is Tanya. So she has a long, like a long career of working with these animals. And her, I think her day job is to basically like people give her animals to take care of. Mm-hmm. And she keeps the wolves generally, and she facilitates moving the rest. Like there was a uh, there was a falcon or a hawk or something that was delivered while we were there, and those animals are uh, she just takes them off to whatever whatever person she knows can take care of it. So probably maybe a bird sanctuary or something. Like yeah, the equivalent the equivalent of the wolf sanctuary, right. but for but for birds of prey or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, she was so nice and so cool. You definitely, if if you want to spend time with the wolves, whether it's for a photo shoot or not, um, definitely Wolf Mountain Sanctuary, reaching out to her while she's still here because these places don't stay forever. I mean, if you look Mm -hmm. at her, she is getting older. And um, so she won't be there forever, for sure. Go there with your kids or whatever, um, you know, soon. I would say, you know, in in the next couple of years because... Otherwise, it might not even be there. She talked about going to Montana or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And before, I think she said she used to live in New Mexico. So, you know. So let's talk a bit about, about the experience, like what actually happened. So we went there and first we had to sign, like basically sign in. It wasn't even like a really like a waiver, which I was a little bit surprised surprising to me because I would think like, Hey, if the wolf eats you, like you can't sue, but I think they just know (laughs) that we are going to sue if we get eaten. So, um, Hey, but we did have to like sign in. So they know who we are, I guess, in case we, uh, hurt the wolves or or something. Mm -hmm. And so we signed in and then we had to wait a little bit. She went into the pen and she was like, okay, go and sit down. And then she'll let us know when, when we're ready. Right. So the, you know, we, we just spent an hour ish getting makeup on and I'm there with my camera and cats there with the other camera and, you know, batteries, you know, being used. So once she lets us know 
that we can, you know, come over. Then she's like, okay, so go um, sit on the on the metal table. We sat on the benches first because I think that's normally the introductory area. And then after, you know, they sniff us or whatever, then we move to the metal picnic table. Yeah. And the you see a lot of photos of the wolves on the metal picnic table. It just I think it makes it better for photos. I think that's so that we can sit on the on the table. I didn't because I was taking photos, but you know, we could sit on the table and then uh, the wolf comes up and hangs out with you. And um, there was three wolves. There was three wolves that we got yep. to interact with. Now the first wolf had no problem with any of us. Gentleman, he was such a puppy. Yeah, super puppy, super happy. The second wolf liked people, liked me, liked the girls, did not like Leiden as Wolverine. <laughs> um, but... Even though she liked us, she still didn't stick with any of us for more no. than a few seconds. Like she was circling, just circling, constantly circling. And that was like an hour hoping that she would kind of like calm down and stay still for some photos. So we have some photos with the black wolf, but you're not going to see a lot of them because they just honestly, they weren't great. And then... Um, the last one. The last one. And he was great. He, he was, was. He looked like a wolf. And that's where like the hero shot came yeah. from. Um, he was in you know, trouble. Trouble. He was. Um, you know, got but, into the wig, got into his armpit. That was great. Yeah. The, the wig was super hyper stylized, but then kind of messed up after, uh, mm -hmm. after being messed with. But um, so we took the photos and I alternated a couple times between video and photos. And I think Kat uh, did more video than photos. So we, we have a lot of video footage to, to go with. But here, here's some things that you should think about. There's chain link fence everywhere. Yeah. That so a little oppressive. Yeah. If you, if you don't like that appearance, then either p think about paying the $3,000 for the big, big production mm -hmm. where I think they'll take, you know, they'll go out They'll probably take you to like a fenced in area. Yeah, like a pasture maybe yeah, or something. Yeah, something. something. Um, uh, so you're going to have chain link fence kind of thing. The wolves aren't trained. So you can't, they're not going to sit where you want them to sit. They're mm -hmm. not going to um, stay still for very long. You can't just, they, they are leashed most of the time, but you can't just expect them to stay still. They're big, they're strong. And um, they're not obedient. They are so stubborn. Yeah. If they don't want to do it, it's not happening. So um, one thing there is that I made sure to have a high shutter speed because if you don't have a high shutter speed, then you're going to get a lot of blur because the wolves won't sit still. They're So they're just moving all the time. And very quickly... I did something that I haven't done for a long time. It used to be that I would just take a ton of photos, take 10, 15 photos, hoping to get one. And I don't do that anymore. Now I really try to frame the shot. I try to really like think, okay, um, how can I make the frame of the shot interesting? And I don't crop my photos most of the time. But here, because the wolf was moving, the only reason why I got pictures of like the wolf licking Leiden's face or the wolf baring its teeth like over Leiden's face or whatever, it was so super fast. Sheer luck. Yeah, it was just like <laughs> click, 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 click. And I just took all these photos. And then afterwards, I had to crop them to get them, you know, framed right. And, um, and I just had to, you know, delete several hundred photos to get the photos I got. Oh yeah. So, so that's, that's where you need to be versatile and you have to be ready that what works in one environment will not necessarily work in another. I did use an ND filter to darken it a little bit because I wanted to have, um, a lower depth of well, a higher, lower aperture, which is uh, um, a shorter depth of field. 
I did that, but in general, I, I still was worried. So I didn't shoot super, super crazy open. Like I, I could have shot 1.4, which would be super soft. I shot at three on almost all the photos. So I, uh, th like 3.2. So that's, um, you know, that's kind of like what, what we did. And in, in my recommendation is if you're shooting with animals, you're going to want high shutter speed because they're going to move. You're going to want to be patient. You're going to want to ask the trainer questions on how to get the best shots and how to get the best like interactions. Like if you're not supposed to look the animal in the eyes, or maybe you're supposed to be dominant and you are supposed to look him in the eyes. Just ask the trainer. Depends on the type of animal. Don't try to dominate wolves, guys. That's that's craziness. But <laughs> um, you know, other animals. Just um, some of them you need to be tough with, and some of them you don't. So if you don't know, ask. That's the biggest thing I can say is really leverage those people because you have to donate something to these nonprofit organizations in general. Um, you can try to, you know, work out something free, but come on now, why? They're they're struggling. It costs a lot to to it does. Yeah, to a feed these things. A whole bunch of meat. A whole bunch of meat. They had three freezers out there. It was crazy. Yeah. Who knows how long they last? Because they had a decent amount of wolves. Yeah. Yeah. And, and possibly getting two more. That's true, because yeah. somebody passed. Yep. So um, I think from this point, we're going to end it here, and then we will move on to our bonus cast. So if you're a Patreon backer, then by all means, join us over there. Comment on our YouTube video. We, we record, we do both of them, both in YouTube and in normal podcast form. So um, by all means, we always love your guys' comments or private messages. <laughs> Thank you for listening to us, and we're going to go to the bonus cast. Bonus, 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 bonus. What do I win? What's the bonus? The bonus is exclusive content you can only get on our Patreon. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye.